Hey what's up guys, it's Marf and today I have some Max Bailey Blade GT1 gameplay for you guys. Like I mentioned in the last video, there is a multiplayer season going on right now. As of recording this video, there's only I believe one and a half days left in the season where you can play with this Bailey Blade GT1 at maximum stats, which is really cool. And there is unlimited fuel, which is really, really cool. It's a slipstream season though, but I, I don't know. I, I think it kind of makes it a bit more fun. Um, don't take this slipstream series too seriously. A lot of people get mad. Uh, it's very easy to just come in last place after you, you know, wreck towards the end of the race because everyone is just shockwaving all the time. But um, if you go into these series thinking just, you know, to have some fun, I, I think it can really make a big difference. But anyway, on to the Bailey Blade GT1. Yeah, I mean, we were all expecting this to be a very good car and it is, it plays very well. However, I don't think it's going to be as good or it is as good as a lot of people thought. When we initially got the statistics, we thought it might be like a Chiron killer. Uh, Sharon, how do you pronounce that, by the way? Like, does anybody actually know Sharon? Sharon? Anyway, who cares? Uh, <laughs> so yeah, the top speed is really, really good for S class. Um, it's not obviously as good as something like the Jesco, um, but with Nitro at max, its top speed is 294 miles per hour. Now, granted, except for slipstream seasons, it's going to be very hard to reach that top speed, really, um, because the handling on this car is not that good. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't have that Tryon Nemesis handling that we were all hoping it would have, but you know, it just doesn't. The acceleration is also like okay, but it's not as good as some other cl uh, cars in the S class. Um, especially the Chiron has, uh, you know, better. And of course, the Remac just blows this out of the water in terms of acceleration. Now, one redeeming quality about this car is its nitro efficiency at max. It is about 70, which is really good compared to a lot of other um, high-end S-Class cars. If you think about that, like the uh, Regera, the Jesco, the Remac, 70 is quite a lot better. Um, and so you combine that with its top speed. And for long tracks, this is going to be very, very good. Or by long, I mean like Himalayas and... Uh, you know, Cairo and uh, that sort of stuff, and maybe even the new New York track, which um, I've been loving. I'm going to have gameplay for you guys tomorrow on that. There's a career season where there's a lot of different races, um, so I'm going to bring you guys all of the races in that career season so you guys can see how that track looks and how it feels. And uh, yeah, so I mean, the Bailey Blade, it's a nice addition, but uh, honestly, like I mentioned in the last video, I'm going to be going for that Tuatara. I mean, I just love that car so much. Uh, better than, than the Bailey Blade. However, um, it is going to be nice to see if I can even manage to unlock this car um, because I didn't actually spend that many tokens uh, on the Sion in order to get it. But, you know, because I had a lot of Lamborghinis, I had a Max Huracan, uh, Max uh, Regular Aventador SV, and so hopefully, if this special event, I, I assume we're going to be using Corvettes and the Mustang and the uh, you know other. American cars like that, probably the Tryon. Um, so those are the cars that are, I, I see most likely going to be used in the uh, Bailey Blade events. Now, of course, we do have those two Grand Prix for the new Ford GT and the Corvette, but I don't know if those are really going to be used in the event. Um, kind of like the SC18 wasn't really used in the Sion event too much. Um, but yeah, so overall, I really do like playing with this car. It's fun to drive, especially in Slipstream. However, the handling is just a bit disappointing, I'm going to be honest. Um, it's not as good as I thought it was going to be, and uh, it, it's just really tough to uh, get it to a nice, you know, top speed when you come out of a corner, especially because um, even with its nitro efficiency, for example, if I'm in first place in Slipstream, obviously I don't have infinite shockwave, and so when I come out of a corner, everyone just blows ba uh, past me because they have more shockwave than I do just because the acceleration really isn't that good, so you need even more than it's already... A pretty good nitro efficiency in order to get up to that top speed but you know overall I, I think it's a good car um if you are able to get it without spending too many tokens i think it's something you should go for in the looks department i think a lot of people are gonna agree that it's not the most beautiful car <laughs> um like i said I i'm definitely gonna prefer the tuatara over this um but overall it's a it's a nice car to drive uh, I think it's a good addition because it really varies up uh, the way that S-Class cars were because we had all these like high top speed but low nitro cars whereas this um, has you know not that good handling but it has high top speed and high nitro but of course it sacrifices like I said in that handling but also in the acceleration department so it's nice to see in my opinion a bit of variety here um, at the top of the S-Class 
uh, you know, those cars over there. Um, I don't think uh, for multiplayer it's going to be very good. I think the Sion uh, and the Remock are, good, are just going to, you know, be good multiplayer cars because of their ability to have good handling and also the Remock's acceleration is really good. But this car is probably going to be actually you know, I, I think a good contender for events uh, where, you know, the track is uh, something like the Himalayas or the Ky or Cairo, like I mentioned before, because of its high top speed and good nitro. So you can imagine people are going to be using perfect nitros um, around, you know, per pretty large bends to keep a very high top speed. So look out for uh, this car on the leaderboards for events. I think it could be very good, like maybe... Uh, you know in some upcoming events if you know they use those top speed oriented tracks but other than that I really don't see this car being used that often but um yeah so let me know what you guys think of the Bailey Blade GT1 in the comment section down below do you enjoy this car or are you just going to ignore it and go for the SSC Tuatara let me know in the comment section down below and again be sure to subscribe so you can see when I upload that new New York gameplay it's coming out soon guys so um, yeah, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.